How's it going guys? Hope you all are doing great. Welcome back on another episode on Tokyo Revengers Season 2, Episode 9, Episode 33. Now, towards the ending of the previous episode, after all the fiasco that went on, finally, Mikey has arrived. And my gut says, tells me that he is here to make a truce. Without further ado, let's check out the next episode and see what took place. Now, uh, now I will say that Mikey showing up here definitely saved his team. Definitely saved Takemachi and the others. <laughs> what are you guys doing on this day? With a smile on his face. And then... You see, everyone is in... Is in... Is, is in... Is in a serious mode now. He took all the blame. Who led him here? Baji? <laughs> now, as much as I'm happy that Mikey is here, make no mistake about it. The situation is not over till it's over, okay? Make no mistake about it. There is still much, much, much more of Black Dragon men waiting outside. So if Taiju decides to ignore Mikey's presence and continue to fight and orders his other men to come in here, I don't think that Tormund will stand a chance because the rest of Tormund don't even know that this fight is going on. The rest of them are somewhere hanging out and all of that stuff. But something tells me that if the Mikey is coming here, I mean, as a leader, he will come prepared. He won't just come alone like that. You know what I mean? He is coming with a backup. So um, let's just get on with this thing, man. Dawning of a new era. It looks like 
Mikey is protecting Mitsu with everything he got. Holy crap! Taiju just moved so fast. I, I, I don't think Mikey saw that coming. Mikey didn't see that coming, did he? Damn! And he punched him on the forehead. Don't tell me he killed Mikey. I don't think Mikey is down. No way. No way. No way. Mikey is not down yet. It would take much, much more than that to take that boy down. Was he me or was he wearing high heels for some reason? Maybe I, I didn't see that correctly. I will go check that out later. Okay, he's not on he- Huh? Okay, he's not on heels. <laughs> I was like, what in the blue moon is going on? I guess this was after they lost their previous battle with uh, Tolman or something. They figured out that they gotta recruit a knucklehead himself.
Voy. Hmm. He took all these guys with him. Took all of them by himself, huh? He's like a man. <laughs> Doesn't he look like the first Broly, huh? <laughs> Doesn't he look like the first Broly, like the original OP Broly, just, that, just right there with his laugh? Oh man, that took me back. Then again, Mikey is not a pushover either, as much as Taiju is strong. But then again, if you look at them, Mikey is like a... Mikey is small to him. Look at how tall. He's like a giant to Mikey. Remember, Taiju laid the first punch. Ooh. What intonation is going on? One kick. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, and I, I see what happened now. And I see the kick. And I see the exact foot he used, where he used to kick him. <laughs> Damn. Okay. 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 I guess both of them are evenly matched, actually. And this does not mean that Taiju will not get up either. Taiju can still get up. I just can't believe it. Taiju is still down. He's down for the count. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, he needed someone to pick him up. Oh, come on, Taiju. Come on now. Come on. You already lost. L let them go, man.
Come on, you lost. What's going on? Huh? What happened to his soldiers? Oh! <laughs> Subarashi! Oh, he did it by himself? What's going on? I mean, I knew, I said it. There's no way Michael will come all by himself. I said it. Do you know what this means? There's such a little Toman here, but there are so many Black Dragons army. Damn! Drag I guess this means that Takemachi solidifies what it means to have a heart because that's what Tomen is all about the heart the heart the heart in which they used to fight Damn. Draken do this did this all by himself. I know she feel I'm getting goosebumps too. I can't I just can't believe it, like literally. For the first time, mission complete. I believe, right? For the very first time, Takemachi completed his mission. He passed out after all that ass whooping. At least on this episode, I, I don't think we're gonna see him get his ass whooped, huh? Five Tomen gang, if we include Hakai, took on 100 armies of Black Dragon. I don't think it's over. I mean, you win, you lose some days, you know? Oh, wait, Yuzia and Hakai stayed back. Oh, 
Of course he will. Remember, he's been fighting. Okay, Mikey won that fight, but still, we have to add the fact that Taiju has been fighting for quite some time. He was even stabbed on top of that. Superb. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. Good episode. I liked it. I liked it. Now, where do I start with this episode? Where do I start? Let me just start from exactly where I ended. Yuziha. Last conversation with his older brother. He, She told him that if you do not change after this, after all of this, if you do not change, that means you're a fool. That means you don't have a heart. Because ever since Taiju has been introduced and we see how much he treats his siblings. I don't agree totally with everything he did to his siblings, but I can understand being a kid, being so young in that age and having to not only take care of yourself, but at the same time, take care of your two siblings and not just any two siblings. He has a brother, a young brother and a young sister. You know, along the line, he lost touch. You know, he lost touch of what it means to really be a little human. You know what I mean? He took it too far. Oh, wow. Okay. The show is not done yet, or the episode is not done yet. Let's see what happens next. Minna. Isn't this his girlfriend place or something? Or his ex or something? Yeah, I'm right. Okay. So I guess this means that um, Takemachi and Hinata will eventually get back together. Or uh, they will at least have a chance to talk it over and to go over what happened the last time they met each other. Now, I got to say that this episode, this particular episode, got to be at least one of the top two or top three episodes of this season. Um, like I was saying before, Taiju being the way he is, uh, being so young and having to take 
care of not just himself but his siblings ever since their parents passed away um you know doing it the way he did it did he go too far yes he did go too far to a degree but i can understand because if it's not the fact that he was around to discipline his siblings and to take care of them uh, uh, however he could to do it they would have been in probably in much worse situation because listen just listen before you say anything if it wasn't the fact that taiju has his siblings around him or the fact that his siblings has them around him he gave hakai and yuziha somewhat a good enough respect and protection knowing the fact that their brother is so strong and he has a persona an authority authoritative persona to him that people not just fear him but respects him and values what he has to say he gave yuziha and hakai a little closure a little respect and a little protection because of who their older brother is because if it wasn't for that they will go defending for themselves and, and they will always watch their back at all times with taiju being their older brother they don't have to do that all they have to do is just do exactly what he tells them to do right which most of the time they fail to do what he tells them to do which he has no choice but to discipline them because he still doesn't want to show the other members of black dragon that he's soft right he doesn't want to show off this soft persona or to pick sides or be a little bit um you know to show favoritism because the way he treats his siblings the other members will look at that will watch how he treats his own and which is the reason why taiju was very respected feared and honored by his mem by his uh, members so either way it is what it is at the end knowing that everything that had happened his siblings still loved him and will still stand by his side i mean i actually thought that yuziha and uh, hakai would definitely go over to tormen it doesn't mean that they will still stay i, I mean it doesn't mean that they're gonna stay with their older brother they can still go to Tomen and join Tomen gang but at this point seeing that their brother has been defeated he has tasted defeat to quote uh the to quote baki baki hanma if you guys watch the those uh uh those uh prisoners duran dolly and the others they wanted to taste defeat seeing the fact that Taiju has tasted defeat. Um, it's going to be a little bit. It will be hard on himself for a bit, but he will recover just like Coco said. And at the end of the day, you know, this is a lesson to him. He's going to have to learn from all of this and be better. At the end of the day, if it's not, here's what I would say Mikey versus Taiju yes mikey defeated him yes mikey knocked him out yes mikey you know make no mistake about it this fight would have been better if taiju has haven't been fighting all this time remember taiju has been fighting for for a while and he got he even got stabbed and he lost a good amount of blood and he still continued to fight until mikey okay yeah i will give mikey his credit at the end of the day because i mean come on i will give him his credit but if it's not the fact that taiju has been fighting this whole time and even got stabbed and lost blood on top of that it would have been an even fight i would love to see round two okay i would love to see round two between mikey and taiju let me speculate a little bit on what i think would happen in the end first off if these two if we ever get to see round two evenly matched no injuries nothing nothing fresh out of the boat they're fighting 
one thing that I know will happen for sure is these two will beat the living hell out of each other first. But at the end of the day, I believe, I think for some particular reason, for some particular reason, I believe Taiju will win the fight. I mean, the size, the reach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mikey may say that, you know, he doesn't have a heart, but based on just because of what happened to him just now, he will learn from it, you know, because what doesn't kill you makes you stronger makes you strong if he recovers from this he will be way way much better than he was before you know just knowing what taiju can do we've seen what mikey can do too but it would definitely be an even fight but they will beat the holy hell out of each other first but in the end i think that taiju will probably win the fight i think so there you have it guys thanks for joining me on this damn reaction on that note stay safe keep on keeping on <laughs>